Here comes the Queen. The following contest is a steel cage match. Making her way to the ring from the Queen City, the SmackDown Women's Champion, Charlotte Back at NXT, Blair. Charlotte was part of a group called the Four Horsewomen with Sasha Banks, Bailey, and Becky Lynch. Wow, has Charlotte evolved from those times? Charlotte has spearheaded a movement to take this women's division to a level of competition it has never seen before. About time I heard you pay the queen her proper respect, Saxton. One day she'll be joining her father in the Hall of Fame. And her opponent from Alabama, one half of the Alliance Tag Team Champions, the Queen Christian. A big fight feel inside the arena right now for this steel cage match. And keep in mind that that cage is not just here to keep these two inside the ring. As we've seen countless times in the past, it can also be used as a cold and incredibly unforgiving weapon. Singles action is underway, and in this one, I wouldn't attempt to predict what's going to happen. I'd just be ready for anything. Sometimes that's all you can do. Look at him, locked inside that cage like a couple of rabid animals. You know what I like about her? She's approaching this match the same as she would if the title nice. was on the line. place right now. This is not how she drew this one up. Pump the brakes a bit, Cole. I know exactly what you're thinking, and I can tell you with all certainty, she still has plenty of gas oh, left in the tank. This might be it! Oh, my! Nailed it! What a stomp! Good grief! Charlotte with a nice reversal. Now the old vicious head crank. Look at the torque. Oh my goodness, this hurts! Oh! And she kicks out with relative ease. She's still in this one. Now leapfrog. Nice cross body. And she goes down hard. That'll leave a mark. And a pin attempt. Charlotte with an easy kick out there. Not yet. Too early. She's starting to take a beating. To be expected, though, given the competition she's in there with tonight. This is where we might just see one of these women pull away from the other for good.
The WWE Universe has seen the evolution of the steel cage in the enclosure known today as Hell in a Cell. The first on the move. Oh! You can see the confidence just bring shaking splash. There is no coming back from that one. Byron, we talked about the progression of steel cage matches and the type of structures that have been spawned from them. I need to point out that some cages have been electrified. One was made from bamboo in the form of a Punjabi prison match. And of course, the elimination chamber with glass pods and steel doors. And today we have the asylum match where weapons are on top of the cage. It just goes to show you that times may change, but the objective to destroy an opponent remains the same. There's still no better way to settle a score than to do battle with your adversary inside a steel cage. Boom! Ho, ho, ho. According to historians, the twisted metal that we see as part of steel cages today dates back 80 years. To settle a dispute between competitors Jack Bloomfield and Count Pietro Rossi, the two met inside a ring surrounded by chicken wire. At first, these types of matches were referred to as fence matches. Corey, you gave us an impressive history of the origins of the steel cage match. I'd like to point out to our viewers that from the 1960s to the mid-1980s, chain link fences were used to enclose the ring for WWE steel cage matches. A superstar could win by pinfall submission or by exiting the cage through the cage door or climbing over the top of the cage. We should also point out, Michael, that the way to win a steel cage match can vary by match depending on what was agreed to before contracts to compete in the match were signed. Talking about history, at WrestleMania 2, WWE unveiled the redesigned steel cage with solid steel blue bars before returning to chain link mesh in the late 1990s. The rivalry between Ultimate Warrior and Ravishing Rick Rude began during the Super Pose Down at the 1989 Royal Rumble. Then it progressed to where both superstars battled over the Intercontinental Championship. At SummerSlam 90, the rivals met inside a 15-foot-high steel cage for the WWE Championship. Victory could be achieved by pinfall or escape from the cage. Corey, the WWE Championship match between the Ultimate Warrior and Ravishing Rick Rude was the second half of the double main event at 1990 SummerSlam. The rivalry between the Warrior and the Ravishing One was so heated that no one knew what to expect once the two men were able to battle inside a steel cage which at the time was the most grueling match in all of WWE. The Ultimate Warrior dominated early on with his incredible strength. Rick Rude turned the tables and used the steel surroundings to his advantage. At one point, Rude dove from the top of the cage onto the Warrior. But after the Warrior's signature Gorilla Press Slam, the Ultimate One climbed over the cage and retained his WWE Championship. You gotta believe this one's over. Harsh impact. Oh, what impact. I can't believe this one's still going on, especially after the beating that's been delivered tonight. The steel cage match is over and she'll never be the same. We got our money's worth for that one. Take a look. Check this out. Look at her go. She left it all in the ring, and I expected nothing less. Here is your winner, Charlotte Flair.